So for today's lunch, Friday the 28th of August, I'm going to be making, well, <laughs> an attempt at a tuna casserole. I have these creamy garlic shells, and this is actually a one serving. So we'll see how much that is. I just, I always thought there was more servings in them. I have a package of tuna that I don't need to drain. I have leftover peas from earlier in the week. I brought some milk from home, got some water, and some french fried onions for the top. Because this is seasoned already, I don't think I need to do anything. It does have instructions, so I'll try to follow them as best as I can without having any kind of um, measuring cups. So I will bring you back once I've assembled everything. All right guys, so that's the noodles and some peas, the milk and water. Again, I eyeballed the milk and water because I'm not 100% sure. In order to avoid fishy office smell, I'm actually going to add the tuna right at the last just to really heat it up and then top it with the french fried onions. So we're starting now and we'll see how long this takes to cook. For about 10 minutes, I've been stirring like every two or three minutes just so that it doesn't stick at the bottom. And they weren't lying about the garlic. It's all up in the garlic. And I don't know if it's just that brand of tuna. It's I, I had it in, in my office. I checked the expiration date, but it smelled like cat food. So I'm not sure how the flavor profile will be with this garlicky cat food lunch, but I think I'm gonna let it go for a, a couple of minutes and then turn it off and let the residual heat just finish it off. So I'll check with you guys in a little while. All right guys, so this is lunch done. All told, it took about 12 to 15 minutes. Um, which it would, if you did on the stove top, it said it would take 11 minutes, so that's good. You definitely have to continue to stir it because it does have a tendency to stick at the bottom. To give you some scale, that's a 20 ounce bottle of water, and that's the itake next to it. Because it does pull off kind of big because the way that I'm filming it. But it's, I mean, it's definitely a one person pot. Although, as I mentioned in that first video, if this were like a stew and then you had sides of like rice or vegetables or whatever, you could easily share this. I tasted it and even though the fish smelled like cat food, it tastes like tuna casserole. So I don't know what that says about my tuna casserole, but that's lunch for today. And like I do at the end of lunch, I'll just come on briefly and tell you about my thoughts. Hey guys, so uh, there's some left. Um, again, there's a little bit of burning at the bottom, but I, I just, I think that just can't be helped, especially since the things that I've been doing have been not just plain water, but I've added curry, I've added spaghetti sauce, I've added milk. So I'm thinking it just, it'll just stick to the bottom, but it does clean easily, so that's good. The taste was exactly what I wanted. Well. Um, so I just picked that package out of the cabinet we, we have at home and it's full on garlicky, but I guess because the powder comes with the noodles, some noodles were definitely way more garlicky than others. And that could just be user error because I didn't stir enough, but it was really tasty. And, um, I did add the tuna at the last and that helped because you could smell it for just a little while, but the garlic smell is actually more prevalent. Now, depending on your office, I can close my door, but I'm pretty sure the smell can still seep out. If you're like in a cubicle area or somewhere we're open, you may want to be more aware of what your smells are just in case people don't like it. So whether it's the tuna smell, because had I cooked the tuna from the get-go, I think there definitely would be a more garlicky fishy smell than just more garlicky smell. The tuna tasted fine. Again, out of the pouch, it just smells like cat food. And we have cats, and so I know what their food tastes like. Or no, 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 let me, let me, no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know what it tastes like. I do know what it smells like. <laughs> okay. Next week, I'm going to keep using up some of my leftovers. So I still have spaghetti sauce. I have the noodles. 
I still have some milk, I have the onions, I have some peas, and because I'm working in the early part of the week, um, I'm just gonna hold it in the fridge, and I'll double check it before I start cooking with it, but I'll be using this again next week. Again, the most humbug thing is taking this home and cleaning it, but that's more so because there's not a space here where I can clean this thoroughly, um, just because of, of issues. So I have to take this home, but again, if I'm having the things in the office, that does help alleviate how much I'm lugging back and forth. So you will see this again. I'd love to know what you think of this recipe. And are you a fan of tuna casserole, yay or nay? I'd love to know in the comments below. All right, guys, that's it for me for now. And as always, aloha.